What news have you brought me? Colonel, we have nothing to report. Splendid, thank you, at ease. You know Dr. Harper? Yes, hello Dr. Harper. We've come to collect the toys for the Christmas tree fund. Oh yes. That's a wonderful work you do. Think of also to give poor children a happier Christmas. It gives us something to do when we have to sit around the station. You get tired playing cards, and then you start cleaning your gun. And the first thing you know, you shot yourself in the foot. <laughs> Teddy, dear, go upstairs into your aunt's office room and get an old box of toys. Oh, how is Mr. Brophy? Mr. Brophy has been quite ill, Dr. Harper. Pneumonia. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> He's <laughs> better now. A little weak still. Oh, I'll go get you some beef broth to take to him. Oh, don't bother, Miss Abby. You've gone through so much already. Oh, no, it's quite all right. Me and Martha made some this morning. She's taking some to Mr. Bonanski right now. You all, just make yourselves comfortable. She shouldn't go through all that trouble. Listen, try to stop her or her sister from doing something nice. And for what? They don't even care how you vote. When I first was in my daughter Brooklyn, my wife was well. After she passed in her month before, well, if I know what your parents' generosity are, I'm going to lose your sisters. Colonel, you promised not to do that. But I have to call a cabinet meeting before I get a release of those supplies. You used to do that in the middle of the night. The neighbors raised a cane with us. They're a little afraid of him anyway. Oh, he's quite harmless. So what do you think he's Teddy Roosevelt? There's a lot worse people you could think he was. Damn shame. A nice family like this has your cuckoo. Well, Teddy's father, the old girl's brother. I heard he was some sort of a genius. And their father, Teddy's grandfather. He was a bit crazy, too. Yeah, crazy like a fox. He made a million dollars. Really? Here in Brooklyn? Yeah, patent medicine. Old Sergeant Edwards used to know him. He was a kind of a quack of some sort. He used his house as a clinic, tried him out with people. I heard he used to make mistakes, mistakes occasionally, too. The department never really bothered him much. He was pretty useful at autopsies, especially poison cases. Well, whatever he did, he left his daughter scripts for life. Thank God for that. Not that they used any of it. Yes, I'm well acquainted with their charity. You don't know a tenth of it. When I was with the Missing Persons Bureau, we were trying to trace down an old man that we never did find. Say, do you know there's a renting agency that's got this house on list for furnished rooms? You can't rent rooms, but if you come in here looking for a room to rent, be sure to go away with a good meal and probably a few dollars in your kick. It's just their way of picking up people to do some good, too. Well, now, isn't this nice? Hello, Miss Brewster. How do you do, Officer Brophy? Dr. Harper? Officer Corey? How are you, Miss Brewster? We dropped in to collect the Christmas toys. Oh, yes, Teddy's Army and Navy. They were out. They're all packed. The colonel's upstairs after them. It seems the cabinet has to okay it. Yes, I hope Mr. Brophy's better now. He's better now. Your sister's off getting some soup for him. Yes, we made it this morning. I just took some to a poor man who broke ever so many bones. Oh, Martha, you're back. How is Mr. Bonetsky? It's pretty serious, I'm afraid, dear. The doctor was there. He's going to amputate in the morning. Can we be present? No, I asked. <laughs> <laughs> He said it's against the rules of the hospital. You couldn't be of any service, and you must hear yourself something. Oh, here, Officer Brophy. Here's the broth. Be sure it's good and warm. Yes, ma'am. This will do. General O'Malley's always nuts about soldiers. That's General Miles. I've retired him. What's this? The organ? Teddy, dear, put it back. But the organ goes to Australia. Now, Teddy. No. I've given my life to fighting Bob Evans. But, Teddy. What's the difference what kid gets it? Bob Evans, is he coming? We'll be on our way. Thank you very much, ma'am. Oh, not at all. Goodbye. I really want to get him home now. Oh, before you go, Dr. Harper. <laughs>